To make your header sticky, you need to use a floating group. So let's uh, make our header sticky. So first, I recommend you to delete your header and you will draw a floating group at the top. So let's make it as wide as the page. And okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. And you need to make sure that your header will be drawn inside uh, this floating group. So basically, a floating group is going to be a box in which you can put elements that are going to be sticky. So it means that the header will be always bit visible. So let's draw our header in the... So you can see the red line. So you need to draw your header inside the red line. And let's adjust it. Let's center it. Let's center it horizontally. Okay. And now you can uh, resize the floating group. Um, and now you can check. So we want it to vertically float relative to the top because if you want to uh, have a banner at the bottom, you could uh, choose a bottom, for example. But we want it to be a header, so we, we, we will have it float at the top. And here you can choose if it floats uh, on the left or on the right, but here uh, it takes uh, the full page, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and uh, we want it to float above elements, yes. So let's preview. And let's see if it worked. Perfect. As you can see, the header is sticky and is always on and that's it. So that was um, how to use a floating group to create a sticky header.